So, today is my birthday, or at the time of releasing this video, it's like the day before, like maybe a couple hours before, I do the whole live stream on Gamer Goose. Aside from that, I was thinking about the good old days, you know, back when I was younger and back when I was in elementary school, and then I remembered about these really cool shoes that I had at this time, and they were called like the, the Nike Skechers, like Game Kicks or something, but they were the coolest pair of shoes that I have ever owned, alright? Now, I was actually very shocked to find out that not a lot of people have heard about these shoes, and um... I was kind of wondering why that was, and I actually found out that a lot of, like, evidence that these shoes even existed has been completely erased from, like, the entire of Skechers' website. Like, any type of these shoes, because I actually found out there was more than the two, which was the boys and the girls, and there was, like, uh, here, I'll, uh, future use just, like, pull up some images, like, some videos from other Play channels. Play different of, frequency like pitches for each color. Get it right, and another color in the sequence will be added. You can just hit press play right there. <gasps> And your kid has a little enjoyable game to keep them busy. Uh oh, I lost. All right. Shoes look a little different. This one's got some airplanes up front. This one here has a little hook and loop pouch because that is where you're gonna keep your game controller. It tucks away in there, which is awesome. And then hit this little button here on the front. There you go. You got a really cool match game that you can play with this controller and the front of your shoe. Now, these shoes costed like $65, um, they were very durable and basically allowed whoever like wore it to put their, put their leg on their knees and then just start playing Simon Says. Basically, it was supposed to be like uh, something to help out with uh, like, you know, boredness, children get bored. I think it was supposed to be for ADHD or something, but um, it didn't exactly work. It, in fact, I think it distracted kids even more and I can, I can kind of be evidence as that because my grades in second grade were not so good because I wore these shoes. Aside from all the negatives, there was a, a good thing and that's that these shoes were very, very fun to play with for the two weeks that they lasted. I saw like in an interview that uh, they said that these shoes were supposed to last for like the normal amount of lifetime that shoes are supposed to last. Another thing is the battery life. The battery is going to last the lifetime of the shoe. But. That didn't exactly happen. They only lasted for a good two weeks before the battery eventually died and you couldn't really play them anymore. And if I could, I would have shown like the, I would have shown my pair of shoes that I had, but for, somehow, I don't even know what happened to them, but I lost them like during the move. So I don't know what exactly happened with those shoes. They're probably like gone into the abyss of void of in between a moving truck or something. I really don't know what happened to them. But these shoes are pretty much non-existent. They stopped production on these shoes completely. And you kind of can't just, you can't really buy them anymore. Like officially from a Skechers thing. I don't know if there's going to be like some kind of Magic the Gathering situation where they're going to send the Pinkertons after you because you bought these shoes. I'm really hoping not because then I would, uh, I would be arrested almost immediately right now. Overall, this is kind of like an interesting situation because these shoes, I felt like I would have thought they did pretty good in sales, but judging by the fact that no one I know has even heard about them is kind of shocking to me for some reason because I would have expected that, but these shoes weren't as popular as I thought they were and it's, it's like a really interesting thing that I kind of came across because I thought it would have been like a popular thing, you know, everyone would have been rocking the game kickers or whatever they were called. There's some cool stuff with these shoes. I thought they were cool. I thought that they were actually shoes that you could like spend your money on and not have yourself feel like you wasted like $50 on shoes. But you know, that's just me, all right? But I mean, that's just me. I'm not really a sneakerhead or anything like that. I mean, I'm just not a shoe person in general. But if you know anything about what happened to these shoes, go ahead, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear like any more information on these shoes because I just wanted to talk about these shoes because of how cool I thought they were and how like they were so fun and addicting and they very much impacted my grades and back in second grade. And yeah, that's just all I wanted to talk about. So yeah, see ya.